Hello guys, this is Mohamed Sadiq. In this video, we will see how to install Bootstrap in our application. Our application can be PHP application, JSP application, or a simple HTML. So we will see these of three examples in this video. So first of all, go to Bootstrap official website to download Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a framework so here is a bootstrap website download bootstrap first okay then the bootstrap is a source code and the bootstrap simple minify files so it is a better to download this and there are other ways to uh, use bootstrap in our application we can uh, we can do this by using cdn content delivery network this is a, uh, this is a internet base uh, whenever our application runs, it downloads in, in our application. So this are, these are ways, and the, we can install the Bower through the Bower and P, npm and the Composer. These are other methods to install uh, Bootstrap. So uh, I'm uh, I'm prefer this is the first approach to download Bootstrap. It is download here so check this okay this is downloaded I'm uh, making here a folder for a simple HTML uh, boot strap okay this is a uh, boot strap directory and paste here okay extract here And delete this one this compressed file and rename it As the appropriate rename I'm using just a bootstrap node and extra in this file we have uh, three of these directories of CSS and the CSS contain CSS source and CSS minified files okay and this is a font and for these are font types uh, which uh, bootstrap use it and uh, this is a js file js contains these are three files okay then here uh, in the main bootstrap application we can create uh, okay, we, we are using sublime sublime text editor for a simple sorry okay then open the folder which I right now created at the desktop okay simple bootstrap here is a folder bootstrap bootstrap contains the CSS and JS files okay then write the code uh, for bootstrap the simple HTML this is the HTML code then uh, save as an index html or something like this okay desktop desktop content bootstrap bootstrap save here uh, i'm using index or html just as it is for simple html okay then uh, right now html and html here um, hat ending hat body ending body here is a code so uh, bootstrap uh, in html5 so First of all, in HTML tag, you have to uh, we have need to put the link in the English for Bootstrap application. Then meta in the simple meta tag for character set, chart set, UTF add. F add. These are necessary to put these things in it, and uh, we are now using uh, here 
bootstrap this is a uh, this is a new application bootstrap application contain this is a path bootstrap then a css and uh, then this is a mini file file and uh, a js contains this is uh, a mini file bootstrap js file so we need to uh, do this for uh, watching a path this is a path uh, build path from here we can do this okay then in in and this application will link this link for CSS link for CSL style sheet style sheet traffic funds okay then the boot step simple we copy the address from the file okay this is a file we have to uh, include in it just pro go to the properties or this uh, address of the file okay then go to the application bootstrap then slash copy the file name dot css okay then js uh, js file always we put in in the bottom of the page script source source code and type uh, sorry type text javascript okay then there's similar uh, the same like just we uh, copy the path and uh, here is the js path of this file just then code properties and bootstrap then the copy the path of the file okay then uh, in the script file we have to put name j and bootstrap or main here is the file name of bootstrap of main copy of with the j uh, is the extension okay and then the extension we have got this uh, files now we have uh, to use us uh, in the simple uh, uh, for a bootstrap application i'm going to small demo for bootstrap is working or not okay and there uh, bootstrap we know that bootstrap always use the classes so here is a class container uh, container then in container uh, uh, I'm using uh, another div class for row for row okay then another div for column class Clause are six. I'm going into this are six clause uh, and uh, uh, here um, just for demo writing the button button uh, okay class just so btn button B button success is success okay let's go to run our application uh, just a index open it html okay then it's not working well then check the what is wrong with it and the boot in the context is not found the path of js here so uh, go to the notice this is a single bootstrap not a double bootstrap sorry okay there is a single bootstrap path okay then refresh it now ok button appears uh, successful it means uh, our application 
and simple HTML work fine for bootstrap. So uh, let's go uh, to the PHP application and the PHP application we uh, do uh, the same thing but it will run on PHP server uh, Apache server okay and then uh, I have installed XAMPP uh, for it so we need to uh, go to the htdocs here is the XAMPP and uh, htdocs okay and uh, uh, I need to uh, bootstrap here for our application the bootstrap bootstrap okay and bo in bootstrap uh, we need to uh, create an index file then we simply uh, copy uh, this code for our time or for our short time okay then go to the same file htdocs bootstrap then here and text dot php dot php is the extension uh, for php application okay then here dot uh, php application then we will go to the php zam here is the zam ht docs and bootstrap okay then we need to here uh, put here uh, our bootstrap directory or framework you can say this directory bootstrap we will put here uh, in the and uh, htdocs bootstrap i have put the uh, this in htdocs it is the same as both is the same the path is the same okay but it is a php application i'm uh, going to put here for uh, for checking this and uh, uh, ht1 and heading uh, one okay then the php code here php uh, echo echo uh, then dead dead function i'm using the dead function for uh, just printing the dead okay then the day and ma uh, dead and month and year okay this is simple uh, go to the address bar local host local host bootstrap um, bootstrap local host bootstrap this is a uh, PHP application as a uh, dead and uh, the, and this is a uh, okay a button for bootstrap okay and the last uh, we need to uh, do same thing for a JSP application uh, and I'm using Eclipse for uh, a JSP application uh, simply I'm creating a new dynamic app, uh, web project okay then bootstrap name project bootstrap finish it and the bootstrap uh, I'm uh, creating J, uh, J, JSP file for it simply it's a simple index JSP file this is a JSP file we need a JSP file okay we need to uh, do the same things here we need a uh, copy the framework bootstrap framework copy this bootstrap framework and paste in web content paste in web content okay simply paste it in and uh, just we need the same thing uh, for this okay and copy the html which we have written just paste here as if there is a one more thing for this okay then uh, remove this uh, chart set from here and we need to uh, tell this uh, application here in the JSP UTF at chart set okay then this is HTML5 code in the same way 
uh, this but we have to remove this uh, PHP code we have to put there the JSP code uh, JSP code uh, we we should put here for a dead okay new and dead this is a JSP code it will assign it uh, to the sorry uh, to Java dot util dot dead okay we need to run it uh, bootstrap and server apache tomcat server okay it is running here here is a jsp uh, uh, code and uh, it's work we need uh, we can see that the ok button is a green and uh, it's work uh, fine for bootstrap application so uh, we have done all the things uh, theory of application in our uh, video so uh, guys i hope you will uh, you will subscribe my uh, youtube channel and uh, like it or comment it any confusion if you have any confusion then please comment it i will reply you soon and uh, their website all the code and the source code will be uh, deployed there uh, will be uh, uh, put there on my website a website name is www.sindhitutorials.com okay so guys allah hafiz goodbye